I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the different geographic areas for the Native American tribes. First thing we're going to do is take three fingers from the top on the left and put a dot. Three fingers underneath the dot, put another dot. Three fingers underneath that dot, put another dot. Come back to the first. We're just going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line across left to right. Come down, slightly wavy, wavy line across, left to right. Come down to the next one, slightly wavy, wavy line, left to right. Okay, the very first geographic area we're going to do is the Arctic. Arctic. And the tribes are the Inuit and the Aleuts. And these Native American tribes, put a wavy line, lived in snow houses, curved line, another curved line, and then a bigger curved line up, over, and down. Little straight lines inside this space. Come up to the top, we're going to draw a curved line, straight lines going down, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line continue, straight lines inside. All the way. Now, to know that you're in the snow, we're just going to go one, two, three straight lines and put a little baby circle at the end of each one. Now, the Inuit and the Aleut were very important hunters. So we we'll put a dot, big curve line up, down, out, over, leave it floating, come inside to the dot, curve line in, out, in, come inside, curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it floating, and put a little curve line down. Put a dot, put a little curve line, seals. That was what they were hunting. And over here, put a dot up top, curve line down, out, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line down, curve line down and let's add a wavy line because they also hunted whales. So I'm going to put some wavy lines here so we don't forget. I'm going to come back over here to my snow house and draw another curve line inside, straight lines going across. Okay, next space we go to what they call the subarctic. And the subarctic is Alaska and parts of Canada. And the Native Americans in this area are the Cree and the Ojibwa, which I'm probably saying incorrectly, sorry. Ojibwa. And they were important because they were part of the fur trade. This is what opened up the area for them. So I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to draw a curve line. Leave it floating. Curve line out, in on the right. Curve line out, in on the left. Little curve line on the left. Little curve line on the right. Curve line out, in, leave it floating on the left. Curve line out, in, leave it floating on the right. Big curve line out, over, up, connect. Okay, this is a fur, so we're going to put little tiny straight lines all along the edge because it's already been skinned. 
off of the animal and inside we're just going to put little dots representing the skin and then down here at the bottom we'll draw some curved lines okay the fur trade is what really opened up the colonies the new world whatever now I come down to the next space and this is the Native Americans in the Northeast focusing on the Iroquois Iroquois the Algonquin Algonquin and the Delaware notice how many of these names we still use today over on this space wavy wavy line come back over here draw a big curve line down slightly curve line up curve line down connect come right about here and just draw one two three four straight lines one two three four straight lines one two three four straight lines two straight lines triangle two straight lines triangle two straight lines triangle now lightly just put some straight lines come inside this space and add some curved lines now the northeast this is where first contact with the Europeans so this is all the explorers and the fur traders this was the first contact between the two groups okay now come down and we hit the southeast region and the southeast is represented for the Cherokee the Chickasaw Chickasaw and the Choctaw Seminole Sem Seminole again I ap apologize if I'm saying everything wrong starting right here I'm just gonna draw a slightly wavy wavy line down come back up slightly wavy wavy line down put a dot teardrop dot teardrop dot teardrop this represents the trail of tears as the Europeans moved in they pushed the Native Americans out put them on the trail of tears which represented them being migrating off of their tribal lands onto an area where the Europeans white people colonials put them so that they could take their land okay let's see how we're going to color this in okay we're going to keep this really simple because the emphasis when you do a project like this is on the information so the first thing I'm going to do is take my gray and color in this space I'm going to take my gray and color in this space and I'm going to take my gray and I'm just going to go over my lines I'm not going to really color this in but I want to give it a little pop of color Di differentiate a little bit from that black line then the probably the most important part is putting some blue I'm also going to, I forgot, I always forget something. This is a snow house. I forgot to write that. Snow house. Okay. Sorry. Now I can come back in and add my blue-green. Because they were water people. Okay. Next, this one's super easy. All I'm going to do is color in this space lightly with my brown and this is the very very first time that a lot of the Native Americans came into contact with the Europeans was through the fur trade we don't do that much now 
But back then, this is how they made hats and cloaks and that kind of deal. Now I come down here and I color in my ship. And you got to remember, these ships were very, very important transportation for taking everything that they found in the New World over to Europe and the other places. And again, this was all done by water travel. So I'm going to take that. Then I come down to my Trail of Tears. And again, I'm just going to color in my brown. And this is important because this was really the first instance where the United States government took the Native Americans displace them off of their home tribal lands and it was the trail of tears because a lot of people died okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is part one of my geographic spaces for my different Native American tribes don't forget to add a little bit of red up here on your first contact Europeans. Okay, bye-bye.